Hi, I'm Jonathan Oxer and this is Walk Time Blog number... I don't have a clue. It's been so long since I've done one that I can't even remember what I'm up to. Hopefully now I'll get back into the swing of it. Anyway, something cool happened today. I got a big package, well, a medium sized package from Makers Toolworks with the first half of my Mendel Max 2 in it. I've had a 3D printer here for a little while. Well, it's actually Mark's 3D printer just over here. It's uh, one of the original MakerBot cupcakes and um, it's all tricked out with LEDs and stuff so it lights up like a Christmas tree and 3D printing is awesome but it's a bit limited with the cupcake. That's a few years old now. In fact this is one of the first cupcakes that was ever built. It was from one of the very first batches so it's got the old print head that really should be in a museum. It's quite a museum piece. In fact, Mark doesn't want it modified because he wants to keep it as a, um, a representative thing of what 3D printing was like in the early days. And just over here on my bench, I have a box that was delivered today. So let's cut this open. It's limitations of that MakerBot, the, um, it prints quite slowly and um, the resolution isn't too good and also the build area isn't that good so if you're doing you know, prototyping for, for stuff one of the things that we want to do is at Freetronics I mean is um, produce some cases for Arduino related things and uh, we've already done uh, injection molding for customers, for a number of commercial customers not for open source things and um, we've used commercial 3D printing to do prototyping on those but because the MakerBot just isn't up to it and this should let us do some more interesting prototypes. So let's see what we've got in here. It was all very well packed and I've got to say it arrived extremely fast. It only took a few days to get from the US to Australia. It's just a pity that we can't ship things that quickly back. Well this box looks like it's got a whole bunch of random bits of hardware in it. What have we got? There's a cooling fan, a bit of a wiring loom, looks like a heating element or something in there. There's a bracket and this one feels very heavy. Ah, oh, that's because it's got stepper motors in it. I think this is a stepper motor. Let's have a look. I should attach the camera to the tripod for doing this. It's hard to do this and narrate and open the box all at the same time with just one hand. Yep, that looks like a very solid stepper motor. Put that aside. What else is in here? USB cable. I've only got a few thousand of those. It's more random bits of the wiring loom. It's fairly heavy gauge wire, so I assume it must be to do with power to the steppers or maybe the, um, the heating. This is a strange looking cable. It's a USB cable. It's got a mount on it so that you can fit it to a bracket. In fact, that probably fits to one of those other brackets we saw earlier. It's got a USB socket on one end and a plug on the other. Now, there were some different options for the controller. And um, it could have either been a ramps board or it could have been what they call the Rambo. Now ramps is what I'm familiar with from RepRap and um, you know, related projects. I had never even heard of Rambo until I saw the order form for the Mendel Max. So I've got no idea what the difference is. Um, this were, It was recommended on the order form to go for the Rambo rather than the, um, the ramps board. So that's what I did. A whole bunch of connectors there for the wiring loom and that looks like the board itself so I don't think I can open that with one hand hang on I'll give it a try if I can nick it I should be right hopefully I won't nick myself in the process Okay, so no workplace accident there today. OK, 
Come on, Rambo board. Come out of your protective bag. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. It's an interesting looking board. It looks like it's got everything integrated. With the um, many of the RepRap um, type models, of course, use something like an Arduino board with a shield on it. And this seems to be everything integrated all into one, which is quite nice. So it's got microcontroller on there. Let's see if I can see what it is. It's an 80 mega 1280, I think. And uh, a whole bunch of connectors. So I'll have a look at that board in a bit more detail later on when I'm not trying to hold the camera at the same time. So then, oh, this is a heavy part of the package. It's another whole bunch of stepper motors. I can see four steppers in there. And down the bottom, a box that says switching power supply. Oh, okay, so it's just like a low profile computer power supply. You know, like what you'd find in a rack mount server case by the looks of it. Okay, so that's pretty standard. And that's all there is in the electronics package. Well, there are some fun toys in there. Um, so the other package that I'm waiting on is the physical chassis. That's going to be probably a bit larger. It'll have the glass plate in it. From what I heard, there were some problems with manufacturing of the, the original batch of glass plates. So they got held over. And what they did was ship the electronics first, and then they're going to ship the chassis and the glass plate later. So I might give you a look at that, and I'll definitely give you a look at the whole system once it's all assembled. See ya!